In this video, we're going to explore all built-in agent types in JavaScript Lang Chain. We're going to look at Miracle Agent, Conversational Agent, Structured Tool Agent, and Plan and Execute Agent, along with how we can npm install packages. To be able to run JavaScript files in your Visual Studio code, all you have to do is install Node.js from Node.js.org, after which time you'll be able to run JavaScript agents in your I mean, JavaScript files in your Visual Studio code. Our dependencies are Langchain and OpenAI. I'm going to delete everything and start from scratch so we can install everything from scratch. Okay, we've only capped our files and we're going to be talking about them soon. But to install our dependencies, all we have to do is in our terminal run npm install Langchain space OpenAI. This will install both dependencies and will create a package.json file. Here we go, we have installed the packages here. Node modules folder have been created and package lock has been created. Also package.json with our dependencies. We will be using regular import statements while importing packages rather than using require. So to be able to use that, all we're gonna have to do is modify the package.json file with type equaling module. That's it. And I make sure to save it. All these files will be available for convenient download at my Patreon for Patreon support. I do have 90 plus posts in my Patreon, which you can download the code for, for different projects. Link will be in the description. If you're interested in AI related coding videos, check out Echo AI Academy. I have created this so you can search all my videos, read their descriptions, watch them here, or find the code download links. It said echohive.live. Link will be in the description. Our first example is a Miracle Agent. Uh, we are importing the Initialize Agent Executor, Chat OpenAI, SERP API for Google Search, Calculator Tool, and OpenAI. We are defining our OpenAI API key and SERP API key. You can define it in line like this too, if you choose. And we're defining a function. Let's actually just run this and see what happens. When we run this, we are asking the question, who's Olivia Wilde's boyfriend? What is his current age? Raised to the power of 0 0.23. And we got an output 2.42. We are seeing that return intermediate steps is true, but this code actually returns it as undefined. But in our other files, we're going to be able to see the intermediate steps. So essentially, we are defining an async function. We are using the export keyword in front of it so that we can actually import this function into another file if we choose. Don't worry about that so much. We are defining the run function. It is an async function. Our model is chat open AI, temperature zero. You can define the model name here as well. Our tools are going to be SERP API for Google Search and Calculator. You do need an key API key for SERP API. And our executor is initialized agent executor with options. We are evading that. We are initializing it with tools. The model, which is our chat open AI. Agent type is chat zero shot react description. Turn intermediate steps is true. And then we just console log loaded agent as we have seen right here. Then this is our input, who's Olivia Wilde's boyfriend. What is his current age raised to the power of 0 to 3? And then it says executing with input, and then it makes the call, and then it gets the input and prints it. We don't see the intermediate steps in this case, but this is how you can run a Miracle Agent with JavaScript. Our next agent is a conversational agent, which automatically uses buffer memory, but you can actually override it with other memory types. Make sure to enter memory key as the chat history. Anyway, we're going to be asking it three questions. Hi, I'm Bob. And then we can ask, what's my name to demonstrate that it has memory. And then what's the weather in palm thread? When we run this, we will see here that, hello, Bob, how can I assist you today? And then the answer to the next question, what's my name? Your name is Bob. And then we are now doing a query to SERP API and get a result saying, got output, the weather in palm thread is expected to be partly cloudy, so on and so forth. We can actually turn verbose to true to see intermediary internal steps, which are returned to us as objects. Let's run this again. And let's take a look at what we are getting. As you see, at first we are entering the chain with inputs, hi, I am Bob. And then entering chain with input, hi, I am Bob. We can also see here the system prompt and also the human user prompt right here. And the response is, hello, Bob, how can I assist you today? And the output is, hello, Bob, how can I assist you today? After which time, 
we are asking it what's my name and again we are running the system prompt and the user and then we're getting the output your name is bob as you can see here right here output is your name is bob and then next input is what's the weather in palm Fred? and in this case we are going to call an action as you see it decides on an action action input is weather in palm Fred, and then returns observation here you see partly cloudy skies early followed by this is the content so this is the observation that it ends up having and in the end as an output it summarizes it and says weather in palm Fred tonight will be partly cloudy so this is the result summarization result from the observations from the google search so this is how you can run a conversational agent if you look at the code we are importing initialize agent executor with options serp api calculator defining the api keys for both we are defining the run function as an async function. Langchain handler is going to be Langchain. Our model is Chat OpenAI, tool SERP API and calculator. We initialize the agent with the tools model and the chat conversational React description. And then we are just, after that, we are querying it with hi, I am Bob. And then we are awaiting executor.call with that input. And next with what's my name and next with what's the weather in Palm Fred. So this is our function and we run it. We can we could have just run it like this run right but we are actually running it with error catching just in case so this is optional so you could have just run it with just run command like this but the error catching helps you to see what error is raising if there is any next is the structured tool agent so the structured tool agent allows you you first import the dynamic structure tool from link chain tools and then this allows you to actually define a structured input type for for your tools you do have to define the tool here for example here we are defining a random number generator and the cool thing with dynamic structure tool is that you can have multi-input tools you can enter as many inputs as you like from if i'm correct here in this case for example for the random number generator we need a low number and a high number to pick from here in this case it's going to be anywhere from five to ten so here again, we are defining the API key. We are defining the function here with model being the chat, chat open AI tools is the re regular calculator and dynamic structure tool. The syntax of defined tools in JavaScript is like this. Name is random number generator. Description is generates a random number between two input numbers. So this is multi input tool. Schema allows it to, I believe, accurately identify uh, the multi inputs. And then here we are running the random function in JavaScript to get a random number between the low and the high. And then we are running the executor while awaiting initialize agent executor with options. We are awaiting because these are this is an async function. So we can actually run multiple of these concurrently if you need be, if need be. You can set verbose to true. Here we are setting it to false. Uh, and then console.log loaded agent what's the random number between 5 and 10 raised to the second power and then we just log the results after we await the call when we run this. let's run this and see what result we get executing with the input what is the random number between 5 and 10 and the result is 52.3 to be able to see what was happening you'd have to set verbose to true in lowercase and then run it again and then you will be able to see the intermediary steps that it is taken as you see it's putting input and output so this is quite long but when you run this you'll be able to see that what's taking place all these code files will be available at patreon i have found them from langchain's javascript documentation but i modified them to run smoothly so all these files will be available at patreon link will be in the description also check out the echo hive ai academy at echohive.live you can search all my videos here find their descriptions find the code download links and watch them here as well our last file is plan and execute agent we this one actually creates a plan ahead of executing the actions so let's say this verbose to true to be better be able to see i'm just going to zoom out a little bit because we're going to get quite a lot of output our question is who is the current president of the united states and what's their current age raised to the second power so we're going to need to use a calculator right for the power operation also search which is serp api as we've defined whole, our tools right here to find the current age of the united states president 
both its name, right? So we don't even know, the agent doesn't know who the president is, neither is age. So we run it by saying node and then the name of the file. And we start to get our actions right here. Let me scroll up. So we have a system message. You can read through this. It says, let's first understand the problem and devise a plan to solve the problem. Please output a plan starting with a header plan and then followed by a numbered list. So this is the system message that is given. And there are human messages. Who is the current president of the United States? What is their current age raised to the second power? And here's the plan that the agent is returning. Identi number plan number one is identify a current president of the United States. Two, determine their current age. Three, square their current age. And I'll put the results of the squared age given the above steps plan. And then here's another system message for the action activity. And here you can see that the current objective is identify the current president of the United States. And it decides on an action, action is search, and then action input is who is the current president of the United States. Observation is the 46th and current president of the United States is Joseph R. Biden. He was sworn into office. So there's some information here from the search. And then here it has a thought right here saying that the current president of the United States is Joseph R. Biden. And then another, it is having another thought. I need to find the birth year of Joseph R. Biden Jr. to calculate his current age. This is also going to be a search action. And action input is going to be Joseph R. Biden Jr. birth year. It's having an observation that the answer is November 20, 1942. And then it's having a thought. Now that I have found the birth year of Joseph R. Biden, I can calculate his current age by subtracting his birth year from the current year. And it's actually going to do that here. Action input, 2021, 1942. It thinks the current year is 2021 because of its knowledge cutoff date. Anyway, it's having a final answer right here, saying that the Joseph R. Biden is currently 79 years old, and then the final answer. And then it's having a thought, I can use the previous steps to get the current age of so Joseph R. Biden because it knows it, then square it using a calculator. And then it's doing the using the calculator action as calculator action input is 79 times 79. And then eventually it's having a final answer that the, the age squared is 6241. And the final result output is the current president of the United States is Joseph R. Biden Jr. And their current age raised to the second power is 6241. So let's take a look at this is pretty simple. Again, we are importing calculator and SERP API as tools. Chat OpenAI is going to be our model, which we're going to be using and plan and execute agent executor from LangChain and OpenAI. So we can define the OpenAI API key. We're also defining SERP API. Our tools are defined right here. Model is defined right here. We are using GPT 3.5 Turbo. Executor is going to be plan and execute agent executor. LLM is the model. We are giving it the tools it needs. And that Simply, we're saying result is await executor.call, which we have defined right here with this input. And now we are simply logging the results. The, the denseness of the information is going to depend on whether we set the verbose to true or false. Like I said, all these files will be available at Patreon, along with 90 plus other projects files. I have been doing AI related coding videos for a while now, and I have project files for about 90 plus videos that I've created and you can have access to all of the code files at my Patreon.